I've just downloaded some new data sets from the internet and unzipped them and copied them into the right files using Windows Explorer and I've now come back into Arc Catalog um, and I can see the, the new folders that I've created so I've got one for Sustrans data and one for Work data which is um, data from an organization called the Wield and Iron Research Group. Um, if I go and have a look and see what's inside them. Um, initially I can't see anything at all in either of these folders and that's because I have had Arc Catalog open at the same time as copying the data in <coughs> inside of Windows Explorer. So what I need to do um, to make sure um, that that data appears over here in the contents is to refresh, um, do a manual refresh of the catalog. Um, the easiest way to do that is um, right click on the original data file and press refresh. And now if I click on these folders, there we go, there is the um, shape file for the iron. And if I look under the sustrans, there is the, um, the polyline file uh, for the National Cycle Network. Um, now another way to do that refresh would be to also close our catalogue completely and restart it. That would also do the same thing and that would refresh all the data connections within the ARC catalogue piece of software. So now that we've got our data structure starting to grow, um, we can have a look at how we might use ARC catalogue to get the data into ARC map. So I'm going to start ARC map. And always when you start ArcMap you get this initial box which is asking you to choose either um, from a variety of different templates um, or if you've already been creating maps it will get, it will show you the most recently created project file. Um, so most of the time I would generally just cancel this box out of the way. So this is the familiar view that you will find when you open up the software. So over on the left hand side is the area for the layers for the uh, data that we start to add and over here on the right hand side this is the area where the maps will actually be displayed and all the other data that you overlay on top of them. There are several ways to get data into ArcMap. One of the quickest ways is to use the catalogue which um, you should find over here on the right hand side. If you click on it, it will just kind of pop out like that and we should also now be able to see the folder connections that we created earlier on um, under here with folder connections and again we can drill down into these folders <coughs> until we actually find the data so again we can drill down into original data and we can drill down into OS data and I'd like to just pull up the 1 to 50 map um, so there we are there's the tile and I can simply just click it left click it and drag it over into the window and it will appear. One thing we forgot to do was to set up the spatial referencing for this um, project um, and I'm being told here that there is a problem because the, um, the software is warning me that there's an unknown spatial reference with that. I'm just going to click OK and get rid of that um, and we can tell that there is a problem because at the bottom here we've got unknown units being displayed and also up here we should have a scale in this box in the middle here, this map scale box, and at the moment there is no map scale. So we need to set the coordinate system for this particular project. Now the easiest way to do that is to go to so the easiest way to do that is to go to view and then data frame properties. And as you can see there is no coordinate system set for this project. And now this is something what we would generally do at the very beginning before we actually import or load any data into a project. Um, in the UK we use the British National Grid system um, so the easiest way to find that is to go into the projected coordinate systems folder and then we go to national grids and then we go into the Europe folder and there we go British National Grid so we click that and click apply and we'll notice down here the information about that particular coordinate system um, and that is kind of the just default information there we click OK and now when we move across we notice down the bottom here that we've got meters appearing 
and we also notice that these numbers are changing and that they are actually giving you the um, grid reference of the location of your cursor as you move across the map and the other thing that we now notice is that up here we've actually got a scale here in the map scale box which means we can use this to zoom in and out of the map at some of these predefined scales or we can also set our own custom scale to zoom in as well so in terms of moving around the software the first four or five buttons on this second row of icons are probably the most useful ones for navigating around the maps the first two are fairly self-explanatory you've got a zoom tool and a zoom out tool so zoom in and zoom out again the two several ways of zooming in so first of all select the tool you can either click and it will zoom or you can drag a box and it will also zoom and again the same is true of the zoom out so again you can draw a box and it will zoom out and again draw another box and it will zoom out um, the next one is the pan tool which again is just a sort of panning tool which is quite useful for moving around the map so you can just drag around and then these two here again are zoom tools so they will zoom in by a fixed amount and again zoom out by a fixed amount so those two there um, this one here, this blue arrow is really useful because again this will take you back to the previous extent so if you make a mistake it will take you back and just keep taking you back and again you can go forward again to the extent you were in before so those two are very useful tools as well a couple of other sort of details about the, the view so those are the main sort of functions for navigating and moving around the map <coughs> And then again down the bottom here we've got several other little icons as well. The first one is the data view which is the view we're in now. This is the view we would generally stay in for most of the manipulation and, and looking um, and data analysis. And then next to that we've got the layout view which I'm going to just quickly show you. Um, this is the kind of view that we use for generating printable or exportable maps so it's the kind of what you see is what you get view and it's how we would make the map more presentable I and mean, it's the layout view and it gives us the ability to to make the map um, printable and exportable and also just make it more visually um, appealing I'm just going to click back to the data view um, we've also got a refresh button here and this really refreshes the data so it just kind of reloads the data in should you have a problem or should the software freeze it's quite a useful button and then this pause button which would pause the redrawing of a large data set should you wish to do that uh, but generally that's not particularly useful <coughs> so over here again on the right we've got the um, catalogue which got, kind of pops in and pops out so as you hover over it it will just appear and then it will disappear as well which is quite a nice little feature and again the same with the um, search function as well so that's a local search that's just searching for data <clears throat> so again that will just appear so those are the main functions really for just kind of moving around uh, the data I'm just going to pull in some other data just so that we can have a quick look at it so I'm going to pull in this iron sites data again so we can literally just drop it over on the map again it's saying that there's no spatial referencing to that data um, and we can check that by just clicking on the data itself here and then going down to the properties and this is the properties for that particular layer if we click on the source we will notice that there's no coordinate system um, defined for this particular layer so that's easy enough to fix we can click over to the catalog and we can right click on the iron working sites go to properties we can go to the XY coordinate system and again we're going to go into projected national grids Europe and then we can select the British national grid system and apply OK again we can close the catalogue, it should just close on its own which it has done and we can just recheck to make sure that that 
coordinate system is now attached. So there we go, we can see now that the projected coordinate system is now British National Grid for that particular set of data. So if you get some of those errors where it's telling you there's no spatial reference, there are a couple of ways to do it. So there's the first way that we looked at, which is setting the coordinate system for the overall project under the data frame properties. And there is also setting the coordinate system for individual pieces of data as well. So shapefiles or also raster data too, which, would, which involves that right click. So those are the two ways of setting setting the coordinate system. Now I accidentally cl clicked on the little cross there which means I've suddenly lost my access to the catalogue along here. Now the quickest way to, to restore that is to go up to Windows and just click on catalogue up there. And then I think if we click this one that will just pin it to the side. So it's the pin icon is the one you want to use. The little pin which just kind of pins it back there. So that, there's just some of the few of the most basic sort of features um, for ArcMap and getting data in and out of ArcMap. Um, there's a couple of other things as well. Um, accessing the attributes of a set of data, of vector data, is quite easy. So you again right click and then we go down to open attribute table. Um, and this is a very simple attribute table for this data, and then you can see. The attributes that are, that are within that um, within that set of data, so very simple. But depending on the data, the attributes could be a lot more complex than that. Uh, so that's just a quick overview of some of the, the basic tools for moving and navigating around data in ArcMap.